Hey guys, it's Mr. Bizelap, Brian Davis, bringing you a video of what I bought yesterday. Um, I got a call on Sunday. The guy that I bought some stuff from the other week is still working on cleaning out his storage. And uh, he met me last night around 7 o'clock. Um, so I kind of rushed and put everything into my second warehouse. You guys will see it is, this is my second warehouse. <laughs> Um, I guess I can start in the front and show you guys kind of what I picked up, but there's a bunch of board games and some of them are kind of neat. Magnificent Race is cool. War of the Networks is neat. The Boss. The Will and Dylan game, Big Business and Intrigue. Ben Casey, Superstition, Horseopoly. So a bunch of board games. A motorized car setup, a tumbling stones, a frosty freeze ice cream maker, that's cool. A play doh farm animals forge press. Um it's just this is a box of action figures and miscellaneous wrappers and some beanie baby stuff and some cups. I'll bring that for tonight's auction on Facebook. Um, if you guys didn't know, we do live auctions on Facebook. I haven't started doing them on YouTube yet. Um, contractor bags. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, cool. Uh, what is that for? Single sponge towels. So free offer, 16-page comic book inside package. Interesting. Oh, sorry. And trucks behind us. Three Stooges gum wrappers. That's very cool. Oh, this is an awesome box. Now this is exciting. So this is a Batman wax box from the 60s. So that's kind of cool. So it looks like this whole box is like cards. So I don't know what series these are from. They're like cardboard, like cardboard transfer type things. Ernie Banks, I know who that is. I can't read that one. Jackie, somebody, Ozark something, Ernie Banks again. John Honey Rummage. Billy the Kid Martin from Enfield Braves. So I don't know if these are good or not, but there's a nice little stack of those. Two of those, actually. Joe Flash Gordon, manager for the athletes. Chicago White Sox, Walt Morse Morin. Um, this, what the hell is this? Um, I, I, I have no clue. Looks like a popcorn bag from a circus. This is an old wooden box. Like hand done folk art type box. Oh, they got rings. Um, San Diego Padres and San Francisco Giants. So, always seems like anytime I'm trying to make a video, there's a ton of background noise. I have no clue why somebody would keep these cards. Uh, looks like somebody tore them apart to make puzzles out of them. But, yeah, pickers can't be choosers. I bought the whole load. Um, photo Carnet, Johnny Weissmuller from 1952. PSA grading, NNO. Okay, so here's more baseball cards. There's a Hank Bauer card. Doesn't look original though. Tubbs Archives. Yeah, that's an Archives card, so not original. It just looked too nice. Some 70s cards. There's a 60s card. Oh, super cool. This is really neat. 1947 Chicago Cubs postcard. Genuine photograph. Danville. That's cool. Now see, like, I like that. And I know what these are. These are exhibit cards. 
exhibit arcade cards. So these are pretty awesome. Baseball, these are probably 50s, maybe 60s. There's a really beat up cowboy. I don't recognize any of the baseball player names. So I'll probably take this box with me today for my auction this evening. Ooh, it's a good wrapper. Super cool. And then the rest of the box is packs of cards. Close Encounters, Battlestar Galactica, Maya, which I don't know what Maya is, Charlie's Angels, was a brand new series, new series, and original. So, three different series of those Kung Fu, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Kiss, first and second series, another Charlie's Angels, Raiders, Superman, Superman 2, Elvis Presley. Man on the Moon, these are 10 cent packs. These are probably early. Star Trek, Black Hole, Dark Crystal. Actually, Dark Crystal is awesome. It's a great movie. Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers, and Alien. So, this is a good little box. We'll bring that with us to the warehouse. And I'll actually show you guys. I did put a couple things in the car already that I was really excited about. And probably big reasons I bought the, the deal. Um... I got a few more cases of animation cells. This is the same guy that I bought from uh, the other week. He had a, he found a couple more in his warehouse and his storage. Uh, so I got another GI Joe case and three more Conan cases. Um, so you know what I paid for those last time, I paid for those again this time. Uh, and the deal, I spent a couple grand on the deal total. But got all the cool board games. I got this awesome box of cards. It's gonna go with me. And I already put a couple things in my car. And I'll show you guys. Um, I was just opening a couple envelopes that had miscellaneous like paper goods in them. This one is Sheldon Oppenberg, illustrator and cartoonist. But I don't know if he's famous or not. Dune, one of my favorite movies. Um, yeah, early this week magazine, 1945 Europe magazine done in small print, so it was probably a, a send away to over there. This is another one from Sheldon. This one's signed. Buffalo Bob Smith and Howdy Doody. Some photos. Uh, these look like restrikes. This one might be original. It looks like Smiling Jack. Smiling Jack again. An old piece of sheet music. A newer thing of Dick Tracy. This is some comic strip stuff, nothing too super exciting, but it'll be good for my auction tonight. Um, but I'll show you guys what's really cool, or at least what I thought was really cool. Um, I gave a little bit of value to it whenever I purchased from him. This I thought was neat. Robot hands. Space set includes robot face mask. And this is actually old. This is like a... So by Kilgore, the company that made Bang Bangs. 1958. Uh, and it looks to be old stock. So here's the mask. But the mask does have two splits. Right there. And right there. But the hands and the sleeves are mint. It's definitely never been played. But it's definitely old stock. The box is really nice. That's a beautiful piece. Really excited about that. Um, if I remember right, these are like just some some planners, peanut decal sticker thingies. I don't know. They seem to be in various condition because of they probably sat in the sun or whatnot, and they're a little sticky. So, like the backs of them just feel slightly sticky to me. I don't know. They're just they're not great. March Comics, Pinocchio. This is a whole stack of like Pinocchio books and magazines and stuff. So there's all this. I don't know who that is. I don't think they know who they are. Uh, some ads. Oh, these are super cool decals done by Roach. 
Roach Studios Vintage Iron-Ons. They paid 15 bucks a piece for these. So a very cool, like, 70s look to them. Um, let's see what I put this over here for. Obviously, I did not put this suitcase over here because it had a Barbie. Oh, I saw this at the top, so I thought it was neat. Dungeons and Dragons Jigsaw Puzzle. And then some more non-sports cards. Uh, empty sleeves. It's like 64 World's Fair Pavilion. Uh, let's see what's in here. This is stuff that I, when I saw the deal, I kind of pulled to the side, and then when I got here a few minutes ago, I started putting it in the car, and then I was like, oh, I should probably make a video of what I bought. So these are lantern slides. So those are super neat and very old. Um, Atlantic City invites you from 1961. I'll put those back in there. Captain George's Comic World. Best wishes to all the readers of Captain George's Comic World. Superman Kirk Arlen. So signed, maybe? I don't know if that's a real signature or not. But, kind of neat. I just thought the box was cool because it had some old cards in it. Ooh, open Road for Boys. Dark Horse Comics, 1988, so not super old. Um, so there's two or three comic books in here. Those are kind of neat. Big Dick Tracy thing. And then White House. So I think these are just a lot of ephemera. Um, and then signed letters from different senators, Jack Williams, I don't know who Jack Williams is, but everything is to the same lady it looks like, so that's kind of cool. Senator, Eastern New York, an old photo, Percy for center, Senator, so it looks like a lot of political letters and signatures, so kind of neat. Um, Shrine to Art, Chinese Theater, and then a few other things. Now it's starting to get windy, which is very bad because my favorite piece in the entire load that I found, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in my auction or not, but this is extremely rare. If the wind does not blow again, thank you, please do not is this poster. I'm gonna shut the side door here and I'll show you guys from the back of the car. So the shadow. So this is an original store poster for the pulp magazines that came out in the 20s and 30s and 40s. So this is the shadow nose for a Street and Smith magazine. That's fantastic. That's extremely rare. I've never seen another one. But very cool stuff. And of course now the people are going to start up their motor home that's out here. Um, so that's the stuff that I have in the car. It's going to go back to the other warehouse. And then there's a case of Dick Tracy and New Kids on the Block wax boxes. Again, all the board games are very cool. Um, let's see what this is. A mink. Let's take that with us for the auction tonight. This is super cool. There's like little prizes inside of the uh, the top, but check it out. It's a man from Uncle, like an old pinball machine. It does have a hole right here, but the graphics are cool. I'll take that with us for tonight's auction. There's the Play-Doh Forge. It's cool, uh, interesting. So there's trains in there. Not that I know a ton about trains. I know a little bit. There's some ephemera, comic books. Uh, something comic related. Oh, there's another old comic book, Jackie Gleason. So I'll probably bring this stuff for the auction tonight as well. I've been doing pretty good with ephemera lately. I don't know what that is. And don't know why they have it priced at three hundred and fifty dollars.
Season Romaru. Yeah, I'll have to figure out what that is. Um, the guy said his dad used to be a dealer. And he just has a whole storage full of stuff. So, um, so I'm buying it. <laughs> cool turbine sound car. Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, not too sure what is in this envelope. I'll bring it with me for the auction tonight. There's another whole box of miscellaneous. Some cards, a couple books. John Lennon book, that's kind of neat. Ooh, this one's got hard plastic, is it any good? Ah, no. <laughs> When you get excited about something on a hard plastic and find out that it's a race card, you're kind of disappointed. Uh, Rolling Stones, this is probably a store display from a record store. These are kind of neat, not really sure what they're for. Some Mad Magazines. Uh, looks like some railroad pulps and some other paper, so this box will probably go with me. I'll probably leave the, the train stuff here. Um, to do at some other point in time for an auction. So I'm going to load some of this stuff into my car. But as you can see, there's a nice stack of stuff over there. These boxes are from the auction um, that I'm going to do tonight. So there's a Cheerios, I think it's Cheerios, uh, Lone Ranger, Western Town. They're built up. There's a couple little pins and things in here. Welcome, buddy. I saw another pen or like a Heinz pickle inside of here, too. So, oh, there's another pen. This is really hard to do on one hand. Remember Pearl Harbor. So, we'll bring that for the auction tonight. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, so this is good. Let's take this over to the car. So Tarzan 3D, that's actually in there, and then there's a different wrapper. There's something else, Tarzan. Comic book foldies. Wrapper, another Tarzan builder mitt bubblegum, so foreign wax wrapper with, with cards in it. So this looks like a bunch of Tarzan related stuff so super cool and excited about that that's got to go with us probably do that in tonight's auction as well um let's see another shoe box up here let's see what's in it uh looks like train this is a train car we'll leave that here and more of the western town houses from the lone ranger set from cheerios those will go out to the car with me for tonight's auction here's a big box of paper goods that will go for tonight's auction so i can sort through it there was a gi joe phantom x19 it is mint inside so real happy about that that's a good piece oh look just now realized the box that the stuff's in is for wrigley spearmint and gum uh uncut sheets of cards oh and a rolling stones concert poster But uncut, uncut sheets of vintage non-sports cards. That's pretty exciting. Let's see what else we got. I'm just showing you guys stuff that came from this purchase, the purchase yesterday. So it looks like Insane Clown Posse Mask. Uh, I kind of thought they were Kiss when I first opened it, but wrong. There is a big Kiss doll over there. Uh, there's a poster from some New York nightclub, but it's destroyed. This Ames store display was for like a, what are the things called? Uh, so like little shovels for when you garden. There was this cute little record player. I'll probably bring that for tonight. Uh, another box or bag of paper goods. A little bit more toys. And then this box here was part of the purchase last night. 
Uh, some more comics and miscellaneous goods. There are some more records. There's a scrapbook. Um, another book of, I think there's first day covers down in that box when I put it in here. These are, let's see. Oh, more records. At least these are 45s. Cool in the Gang. Donna Summer. Um, Odyssey. Kenny Loggins. So I'm going to bring the records back with me and put those in tonight's auction as well. Another box of miscellaneous paper that I have to go through. And a big bag of records. And then there's two crates of old magazines, of old, like, look magazines uh, that are pretty nice. So I'm going to load the car, guys, for my auction tonight and get some of this stuff back to the warehouse so I can process it. But wanted to show you guys what I bought yesterday. Uh, I paid a little bit over $2,000. There's also a Coca-Cola cooler that I have already dropped off at my warehouse that I put directly into my car yesterday uh, from the 40s or 50s. And it's a small one. So super excited to get to go through the boxes of paper. Uh, tonight's auction will be awesome. And again, last night I was up with uh, Bolo Buddies. Courtney, thank you again. It was awesome being on your show. And again, thank you everybody who's in the community uh, for supporting us. Please hit the like button, the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to us, and hit the bell notification if you can. Leave a comment for the video. Uh, we're trying to grow our, our business and our YouTube audience together. Um, there's a, a point in the future that I'd like to just start selling stuff as I buy it. You know, literally, if I buy a deal like this for two grand, I may just turn around and make a video and be like, hey, you want to buy it? It's four grand. And just, uh, just flip deals. Um, it's a lot easier for me. So, hope to see you guys later. This is Mr. Buys a Lot, Brian Davis. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. And make sure that you guys are kind to each other because uh, what you put out in the universe comes back to you a hundredfold. And it's just a nice way to live and sleep well. Please stay safe. Mr. Buys a Lot signing off.